Hello and welcome to another episode of Lord Splodge Gaming. This time we're going to take a look at one of the expansions for Star Wars X-Wing, the miniatures game from Fantasy Flight. This is one of the Wave 1 expansions, it's the Y-Wing. Now I don't have it in the original packaging here but let's just show you the ship. So what I'll do is I'll get the rest of the components, we'll have a look, see how it plays, see what it brings to the game and as usual uh, you'll get my thoughts and opinions uh, at the end. So let's get on with the show. So here we have the Y-Wing uh, assembled and on its base. As you can see there, it's a nice paint job. I mean, it looks like this engine the cells a bit wonky, but yeah, no big deal. The Y-Wings are supposed to look beat up. And the paint job from underneath, as per all the other models, you get two prongs, it slots into the base here. You get a movement dial, if it gets to focus in, you can see here that the movement dial doesn't have a lot of green on it. It does have a fair amount of red. It's not a very maneuverable spacecraft, but it is in the move as a bomber. I mean, you don't really use it as a bomber in the game, but it is what it is. But that's the movement dial for it. The expansion also comes with extra shields. In this case three, because if we look at the pilot cards here, here we have Horton's Psalm. And he's, we've got the stats, so he's got eight pilot skill, two attack, one agility, because again, the Y-Wing doesn't move very well. But five hull and three shields and just like the x-wing we have a focus and a target lock action but look at this guy's upgrades at the bottom here he's got two photon torpedoes an astromech and the iron cannon they have got dutch vander which people will recognize if you're into the star wars universe um I'm sorry, Horton's got a special ability here. When attacking at range 2-3, to three, you may re-roll any of your blank results. Not the bad one. And so you've got Dutch Van there again. He's pilot skill 6, slightly less. Same stats. And he's got the ability of acquiring the target lock. Choose another friendly ship at range 1-2. to two, And that one may immediately acquire a target lock. Again, he's got a row of upgrades. Then we've got a Grey Squadron pilot. Um, again, this one's got a good row of upgrades, and even the basic pilot, here we've got the Gold Squadron, which you'll all recognise from the uh, Star Wars original trilogy there. He's got two pilot skill, and the usual actions. And again, two of the missile units, that means that in the extra cards here, that come with the game, you have the Iron Cannon Turret, which the Y-Wing is famous for having. Cost point of 5, has an attack range of 1 to 2, and 3 attack. And it's 360 degree firing arc. If you hit the ship, you're all the damage. And if any get through, that ship automatically takes 1 damage. And then he's ironed for the next turn. And it comes with a, a rules token here, a rules card, so... That explains what the iron cannon does. The ship doesn't uh, assign a manoeuvre, it just goes one forward. That's what it says here. And it can shoot as normal. So no action, one forward, shoot. It's pretty good really. And then we've got photon torpedoes, two off, as you noticed from the cards earlier. Here, if we get the camera to focus. There you go, you can have two of those. So photon, for, photon torpedoes and two different astromech units. Uh, one unique, R5D8. 
which lets you roll a defense dice and on an evade or focus discard one of your face down damage cards so he repairs your hull and we have a generic r2 astromech which says treat all one and two speed maneuvers as green maneuvers and that might be quite useful for this um wire wing here because like i say not very fast but pretty impressive when you're playing against it like i say it takes a lot to get down and that's what comes with the game and you get some you know additional target locks some additional id badges uh evade stress tokens and so on as you'd expect and that comes in the pack so that's it that's the y-wing expansion pack let's uh, see what i think of it so here we have it the y-wing expansion pack from wave one um i had to get this off ebay because you can't get hardly any of the wave one expansions in the uk at the moment in fact i don't think you can get any other than the core set maybe the tie fighter i don't know uh anyway a lot of people on the internet sort of complain about wire wings, don't think they're worth playing. Now, the agility dial, as I said in the review, is pretty terrible. And, you know, the rotary dial, what your move is, plus one, one dodge die, not good. But this ship's a tank, and the iron cannon is useful. Um, when played with this, a couple of my TIE fighters were shot with the iron cannon and just went straight into asteroids. And then they were in the wrong place and the X-Wings swooped behind us. So, useful ship. And it is rock solid. Rock solid. Equip it with a good R2 unit and you've got a nice, nice ship there. So, if you're a Rebel player, worth looking at if you can get it. Um, I hear Fantasy Flight might be reprinting some of these soon. I don't know. Hopefully they do because I'd like to buy some more. Especially the Thai Advance, which I've had to buy off eBay. But this Y-Wing, good ship, worth having if you're a Rebel player. Um, I don't think I'll buy any more because I'm going down the Empire route, but it's a very nice ship, just difficult to fly. Anyway, that's it for this time, so stay tuned for more thoughts and reviews soon, and thank you for watching.